An American army is fighting for you. 1941, a date which will live. The note that the first atomic bomb was dropped on you. These forces met their We have declared the war. But we don't plan to surrender either. We are going to win. The portions and would lead to World War II. Allied air forces began an attack on military. Besides, that in the 21st century, that America. March 5th, 2052. The United States has officially closed. The United States will go ahead with a national quarantine. The new plague virus disaster soon leaves the Damn, I think the resolution's fucked. changes. It was the inevitable result of the path humanity had chosen. Everyone who entered into the conflict expected victory. Everyone was optimistic. But as the hostilities escalated, optimism faded, and society began to collapse. The great vaults were built to house the wealthy, the powerful, the influential, and those deemed necessary to their survival. Inside, resources and technology were stockpiled, a final defense against the coming Holocaust. With the past behind them and the present destroyed, they looked to the future. The sturdy Vault Zero was to be the nucleus of the Vault Network, housing the greatest leaders, artists, and scientists. The inhabitants of Vault Zero were to reunite the vaults and lead the people to a new life, a new world. But after the bombs, the world would be a harsh one. To ensure the creation of a post-nuclear utopia, the vault dwellers would need help. Machinery was constructed to tame a land hardened by the ravages of war, then tempered by nuclear winter. But plans were barely in place when the first missiles left the silos. 
During the destruction, communication between the vaults ceased. Entire vaults were lost. Those that survived were on their own. Not all vaults succumbed to the machinations of war. On North America's west coast, one group of military vault dwellers emerged almost unscathed. They surveyed the wasteland and squared their shoulders for the task ahead. These dedicated survivors salvaged the technology from the vaults. Technology that was studied, replicated, and fiercely guarded. For they knew that while their power came from numbers, their future lay in scientific knowledge. In time, they formed the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood used their knowledge to drive back the atrocities of the wasteland, proclaiming themselves the technological saviors of mankind. They scoured the land in search of more technology, raiding mutant camps, bandit towns, and the broken remains of other vaults. But even they could not keep pace with the high tolls demanded by life in the wasteland. The Brotherhood found themselves at odds with their need for new blood versus their code of technological secrecy. The debate was lengthy. Finally, the elders ruled against sharing the technology with outsiders, convinced that they would endure as they had before. Further discussion was discouraged, and the elders ordered the minority on a mission across the wastes. Super mutants, the foot soldiers of a conquered army, had been forced into a retreat across the mountainous barrier to the east. The Brotherhood constructed airships and dispatched the minority to track down and assess the extent of the remaining super mutant threat. But disaster struck while crossing the Great Mountains. A great storm gripped the main airship and flung it far from its course. The mighty ship was badly damaged. The smaller sections were torn from the main craft, never to be seen again. Many of the expedition's leaders were lost to the winds. The fraction of the crew that still survived struggled to keep their ship aloft before finally crashing on the outskirts of a once thriving metropolis, a city once called Chicago. Broken, scattered, and scarred, they took stock of the situation and once again squared their shoulders to the task ahead. The Brotherhood had much to offer the surrounding villages. They traded advanced medicines in exchange for food and labor. They traded protection from bandits in exchange for new recruits. In time, their ranks began to swell. Separated by distance and ideology from the main Brotherhood forces, the minority was free to forge a new Brotherhood of Steel, one that reflected the ideals they had strived for all along. However, one's future in the wasteland is never certain for an old power has awakened, also bent on making this land its own. Life in the Brotherhood is about to change. Hi, good morning everyone, good morning and welcome. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are currently in the world. Sorry, pardon me, just one moment. <coughs> oh, should have cleared my throat before then. So yes, um, welcome indeed. I'm just, to get, uh, I'm just about to get started with about a, a bit of Fallout tactics this morning. Um, yeah, a little unexpected. Sorry, that is a little bit loud. I'm just going to turn it down. Where's the volume control? Actually, no, wait, I'll do it locally. Hang on. I, I, I'm looking at the game through this like really tiny um, 800 by 600 re uh, resolution window. There we go. Can you see everything? Um, so yes, before I get started with anything stream related then, um, on the YouTube side of things, please know that I'm working on Armor Bullshittery Part 10. Uh, so far so good. The video is 18 minutes and 49 seconds long, and I've managed to finish 5 minutes and 56 seconds. So it's week 4 of the editing. By the end of this week, I'm hoping to get to minute 9 or 10. Sorry, pardon me. <coughs> I'm still quite sick, aren't I? Hang on. Uh, 
Um, yes, so by the end of the week I'm hoping to get to minute 9 or minute 10, so please give me another 4 or so weeks to get the thing done. So, the week after that I should get to the 15th minute, the week after that I, hope, I should hopefully get to uh, the completion of the keyframing, and then after that it's just the polish, so probably 3 weeks really, 3 weeks and a bit. Anyway, right, so, sorry it's still a bit too loud isn't it, let me just turn down the master. Do, 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 do. Turn it down there. Might need to adjust this. So, um, yes, Fallout Tactics. There is quite a bit to unpack with this particular game. Um, the astute among you watching the cutscene may have just noticed the very, very stark differences between the Fallout lore that you're probably familiar with. In short, uh, this is the third game in the Fallout series. Fallout 1 and 2, as far as I remember, were created by the same company that was working... Were they in-house at Interplay or were they someone else? I can't quite remember. But regardless, Interplay had it. Um, what happened with the third entry in the series is that they, they gave the rights to the franchise over to a supporting studio in Australia. Uh, that supporting studio um, produced Fallout Tactics as a sort of uh, a more action-based non-RPG squad. I'm not sure what to compare it to. Maybe Commandos would be an appropriate comparison? So it's a real-time shooter in which you're controlling... You'll see in a minute. You're controlling the soldiers as you run around and sort of shoot at the incoming bandits and all that. But what you've probably noticed from the cutscene is that, for some reason, um, they got to play really, really fast and loose with the canon, with the, with the lore of the Fallout universe, and they made some pretty substantial changes, to the point that there, there's no way that this can be considered canon. Uh, the game concerns the Brotherhood of Steel leaving California, which is unbelievable. There's no way the fall uh, the Brotherhood of Steel are going to leave California under any circumstances. Uh, that's a huge sort of, oh god, what the fuck? The Brotherhood of Steel are a techno-religious paramilitary, um, extremely isolationist faction that never share their technology with outsiders and never even bring outsiders into the base. So... The company that made this needed an excuse to get them over the Rocky Mountains from California, and therefore, as you saw from the cutscene, Splinter Faction. A Splinter Faction of the Brotherhood of Steel got in dirigibles and flew over the Rocky Mountains eastbound towards the east coast of America, crash landing near Chicago, which is on the north side of America, just above the Great Plains area, isn't it? <clears throat> so, this is technically the, uh, well, the Fallout series' first attempt to see what is exactly on the east coast of America. You'll note that later on Bethesda continued that idea, didn't they? They had their games take place on the east coast instead of the west coast, and then eventually uh, near the, the bottom bit where, uh, uh, well, where New Vegas takes place, the sort of the, the mixing of the two. <clears throat> but yeah, so this is the first attempt, really. This was their first... Yeah, I suppose fan fiction, really. Anyway, here I go. I'm just going to jump straight in. So, I actually did a... I, I just discovered... I actually did a... Oh. Oh, no. Where are they gone? There were some save files here. Shit. I did a playthrough back in 2014. Apparently, I did actually, actually live stream it, but I've got no recordings of it, so it's long since been lost. But, yeah, it surprised me. I was like, holy shit, wait, I did stream this in 2014. What the fuck? Hmm. Right. Okay then. So new game. I need to select a character. Ugh. Mick, Snake, Peter, Betty, Wilma. Hmm. Eh, do a custom one. Hang on a second. I know Agarob. It surprised me as well. I, I I thought that I streamed later than that. Maybe I didn't. But it was it was weird. I, I, maybe I, I just did a solo one. I don't know. Hang on a second. Whoops. <clears throat> So, character creation. What shall we go with? So, contrary to the other Fallout games, Fallout 1 and 2, this one is not really an RPG. So, going around and talking to people and uh, sort of solving their disputes is not really what we're going to do. 
we are playing as a tribal who has been recruited by the Brotherhood of Steel faction that left California over the mountains. So we are some dumbass tribal who's um, been pulled into the fold, effectively, and given a spear and a gun and told to, I suppose, represent the Brotherhood's interests over here uh, where we've crash-landed near Chicago. So, I think... Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I can't get lump beef broth. We'll just go with lump then. My D&D &D character that I like so much. What do we want to look like then? What do you think lump beef broth looks like? We're looking for someone who doesn't look very intelligent. <laughs> Is that a mirror? Maybe. Thank you, 72 Evolution. Can you do custom portraits? If you were to just drop one into a... Damn. No, no obvious contenders jumping out. The old man? <laughs> like an old lump beef froth. Oh dear. Acid-faced man was good enough, says Terrible. Acid face man, which one is he? Yeah, he does have fucked up face on the side there. It's probably radiation though. Um, oh, thank you, Ghost, 72 Evolution, Bruce Will S02, Emmy Zombie, Roman and Crumbler and Storm, and Luzu and Callum. Thank you, all of you. And Captain Warface. Hmm. Well, this guy. Eh, his hair's a bit silly. Yeah, let's, let's go with this one. Let's go with the old man. An older lump beef broth. Hair. White. Skin. Yep. Yeah, other. What's that? Oh, he's, uh... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what should we go with? Age-wise, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm 18, of course. Yes. Um, what should we go with? All points into strength. Ah, oh dear. Uh, so, raw physical strength. A high strength is good for physical characters. Modifies hit points, melee damage, and carry weight. Perception. The ability to see, hear, taste, and notice unusual things. A high perception is important for a sharpshooter. Modifies sequence and range combat distant modifiers. Endurance. Stamina and physical toughness. A character with a high endurance will survive where others may not. Hit points, poison and radiation resistance, healing rate, and the additional hit points per level. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, maybe get a few of those. Very good, endurance. Charisma, a combination of appearance and charm. Fair poor? Um, a high charisma is important for characters that want to influence people with words. <laughs> NPC reactions and barter prizes. Intelligence. Knowledge, wisdom, and the ability to think quickly. A high intelligence is important for any character. Modifies the number of new skill points per level, uh, and dialogue options, and many other skills. Fair intelligence. Agility. Coordination. The ability to move well. A high agility is important for any active character. Action points, armor class, and many skills. Eh, let's go with... Melee damage, carry weight. Very good strength. Good perception. Good agility. Luck. Fate. Karma. An extremely high or low luck will affect the character somehow. Events and situations will be changed by how lucky or unlucky your character is. Eh. Fair amount of luck. <coughs> uh, great strength. Yeah, lump beef broth, but yeah, he'd have great... He's got old man strength. Okay. Okay, I've got two additional points. What do you think? I suppose we could put good luck, couldn't we? Hmm. Going melee or ranged? Well, in this particular game, me uh, melee can be done, but it is ill-advised. Um... Things can go horrendously wrong if you try to fight in the melee. So this isn't a turn-based shooter. Uh, the enemy aren't just going to let you walk up to them and they're just going to shoot at you. They can still keep shooting it as you're running towards them, so 
Yeah. <clears throat> right, so... Let's have a look at some of the other things here. So, don't worry. Um, he's not going to be alone. Sorry, p p bear with me just one second. There we go. If I don't want melee, why push strength so much? Well, I'm recreating my D&D &D character, uh, Mono. Uh, so my D&D &D character, who's been featured in many other games you've probably seen me play, including things like Mountain Blade, uh, is Lump Beef Broth. He's a dumbass dock worker. Uh, so I, I tend to stack strength and get low intelligence uh, whenever I play D&D. &D. And it's just, it's just a bit of a meme. It's just, you know... So Cyanide goes high sneak, and uh, so he's stealing everything, and I'm just solving all the problems through brute strength, and it gets kind of ridiculous. <clears throat> like at one point, for example, um, Cyanide tried to jump a tiny, tiny, tiny ravine uh, because the bridge was out, and so he did this huge, great big run up uh, on this ravine, and we all just watched him do it. And it turns out, as he jumped, he only realized at that point uh, all of his stats were stacked into into sneaking and uh, pickpocketing, so he had precisely zilch in acrobatics, so he just plummeted. Despite this, this gap being like two meters wide, he plummeted straight down the middle and broke his leg or something, I can't remember. Thank you, Pirate Cap. Thank you very much, Pirate Cap. <clears throat> okay, um, so great strength... Good perception, very good endurance, poor charisma, fair intelligence, good agility, and good luck. Optional traits. Optional traits describe your character in more detail. All traits will have positive and negative effects. You may choose up to two traits during, uh, during creation. Fast metabolism. Your, me your metabolic rate is twice normal. This means you are much less resistant to radiation and poison, but your body heals faster. Bruiser. A little slower, but a little bigger. You may not hit as often, but they will feel it when you do. Your total action points are lowered, but your strength is increased. Oh god. All the way to level 10? Action points go down to what, though? Uh, armor class... Action point 6, down from 8. Nah. Uh, nah. Small frame. You are smaller than average, uh, but, but that never slowed you down. You can't carry as much, but you're, you're more agile. One-hander. One of your hands is very dominant. <laughs> For no particular reason. You excel with single-handed weapons, but two-handed weapons will cause a problem. Finesse. Your attacks show a lot of finesse. You don't do as much damage, but you cause more critical hits. Kamikaze. By not paying attention to any threats, you cause a lot more damage. This lowers your armor class to just what you are wearing, but you do more damage with every attack. Heavy-handed. You swing harder, not better. Your attacks are very brutal, but lack finesse. You rarely cause any good critical, uh, sorry, any good critical, but you always do more melee damage. That might not be too bad. Melee damage goes up to 7 from 3, but I guess my crit rate is affected. Fast shot. You don't have time to aim for targeted attacks because you attack faster than normal. It costs you one less action point uh, for guns and thrown weapons. Bloody mess. By some strange twist of fate, people around you die violently and always seem to see the worst way a person can die. <laughs> we could do that, couldn't we? Just for the fun. Just like when you shoot someone and they just explode into the giblets everywhere. Jinxed. The good thing is everyone around you is more vulnerable to bad luck. The bad news is so are you. Good natured. You studied uh, less combative skills as you were growing up. Your combat skills start at a lower level, but first aid, doctor and barter are substantially improved. Chemical, rel uh, chemical reliant. You are more easily addicted to chemicals. Your chance to be addicted by chemical use is twice normal, but you recover faster from their ill effects. Mm. I mean, I do... It's going to sound weird, but drugs can be quite helpful. Getting into battle with, like, some fucking... What's that one that straps to your arm? Is it Psycho? It's one that straps to your arm and you can really be like a fucking melee beast. Hmm. <coughs> Hmm. 
What's that red sky, sorry? Uh... Yes, I think someone mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Well, good job he didn't get get a job there, I suppose. All the best, you red sky. Thank you, Mac and Ninja and Pirate Cat. Sorry, for the people just joining the stream lurking, bear with me. I'm just on the character creation for the, uh, the game Fallout Tactics. I'm playing as a tribal who's been recruited into the Brotherhood of Steel. But here's the weird part. It's not the Brotherhood of Steel that you probably know from Fallout 1 or 2. This one took a very dra... I suppose now that I think about it, I guess this is probably the Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Steel that you're more familiar with. Because they're much more in line with what, what Bethesda has done with the Brotherhood of Steel. So they're a lot more expansionist, a lot more, um, a lot more forgiving of, say, outsiders, and, uh, yeah. But they're on the east coast of America now, and they're, uh, they're attempting to expand, which is something the Brotherhood, Brotherhood of Steel in the classic games would never do. Thank you, Homemade Globe and Rucker Zero. Thank you. Right. Night person, your vision works much better at night. Intelligence and perception get a plus one bonus at night, but a minus one penalty during the day. Skilled. Since you spent more time improving your skills than a normal person, you gain five additional skill points per experience level. Ooh. The trade-off is that you do not gain uh, many extra abilities, since you take one level longer to gain perks. Hmm. Gifted. Whoops. Oh wait, hang on. Oh shit, that's annoying. I can't put the cursor to the bottom of the screen because it brings up my taskbar. Oh dear. You have more innate abilities than most, so you have not spent as much time honing your skills. Your primary statistics uh, are each plus one, but you lose minus 10% on all skills to, uh, to start and receive five less skill points per level. Yeah. I don't know. I think these are all a bit too specific. What do you think, chat? Do you think I should go for any of these? I don't know. Maybe one hand? Not one hander. Maybe heavy handed? If I do choose to go melee? Bruiser. Hmm. Trouble is, I won't always be in melee. Um, I, I'm kind of meta gaming it a bit, but I, I know that. Um, yeah, so the challenges in the late game are going to be such that melee will be suicide. So if I stack melee, I'm useless to my party. Like, good luck going up into melee against something with a minigun. <clears throat> Fast shot and a min plus minigun. Fast shot... There. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go with heavy-handed and bloody mess. So, great strength. Yeah, so I hit harder. I do lots of damage, but I don't do as many crits. Okay. Now, insofar as my skills, so this will give me an initial boost, and then if I remember correctly, I'll get plus 2% instead of 1 for every time I say, like, a, up this, I click it once, I'll actually get 2. So, small guns. The use, care, and general knowledge of small firearms, pistols, submachine guns, and rifles. Big guns. The operation and maintenance of really big guns, mini guns, rocket launchers, flamethrowers, and such. Energy weapons. The care and feeding of energy-based weapons. How to arm and operate weapons that use laser or plasma technology. Unarmed. A combination of martial arts, boxing, and other hand-to-hand -hand martial arts. Combat with your hands and feet. Melee weapons. Using non-ranged weapons in hand-to-hand -hand or melee combat. Knives, sledgehammers and spears, clubs, and so on. Throwing. The skill of muscle-propelled ranged weapons, such as throwing knives, spears, and grenades. Ooh. First aid. Uh, general healing skills used to heal small cuts, abrasions, and other minor ills. Doctor. The healing of ma major wounds and crippled limbs. Without this skill, it will take much longer, a much longer period of time to restore crippled limbs to use. Sneak. Quiet movement and the ability to remain unnoticed. If successful, you will be much harder to locate. You cannot run and sneak at the same time. Lockpicking. 
The skill of opening locks without the proper key. The use of lockpicks or electronic lockpicks will greatly enhance this skill. Steal. The ability to make the things of others your own can be used to steal from people or places. Traps. The finding and removal of traps, also the setting of explosives for demolition purposes. Science. Covers a variety of high, technolo high technology skills, such as computers, biology, physics, and geology. We could pick that as a joke. Like the dumbass lump beef broth somehow knows like a shit ton about evolutionary biology or something. Repair. The practical application of the science skill uh, for fixing broken equipment, machinery, and electronics. Pilot. The ability to operate and maintain all vehicles effectively. Barter. Trading and trade-related tasks. The ability to get better prices for items you sell and lower prices for items that you buy. Gambling. The knowledge and practical skill related to wagering. The skill at cards, dice, and other games. Outdoorsman. Practical knowledge of the outdoors and the ability to live off the land, the knowledge of plants and animals. Hmm. What do you think? So I should probably pick a weapon skill. So it's based on agility? My agility is good. Maybe I should go for big guns. <clears throat> Repair an outdoorsman to keep with the dock worker thing. Yeah, maybe. Repair. Could do. Practical knowledge of the outdoors. Endurance. Not so sure how that helps me in the, in the game, though. Then again, I shouldn't really think of it like that, should I? I should just think of it as a character that I'm making. Okay. Um. You know, I might. It's weirdly, I might actually add throwing in there for the sake of lobbing nades. Like, if anyone's gonna have nades. Hmm. <clears throat> Gambling does also make sense for a dock worker. Not that there are any docks here. Yeah, okay. Gambling for a dock worker. Big guns, because, well, big guns. And throwing shit. Okay. Right, now, the game does feature an Iron Man mode, and I would put it, I would put it on, but here's, here's the catch. Um, again, a little bit of metagaming. I know that it's incredibly easy to make one fuck up and get, like, a team wipe. It's so easy. So, as tempting as that is... I think I should not, because it's going to suck. Like, I'll get all the way to the end, and then just lose the entire team. So, I, I you know... It, 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 I, think it, I think it's going to suck more than, more than it would be fun. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's a very unforgiving type of game. Especially if I'm going to go with melee, I mean... I could just run in and die, and then that's it, game over. If my dude dies, that's it. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to start then. So here we go. So, Lump Beef Broth. Yeah, so for speaking to the people just joining, um, a quick uh, a, a recap on what's happening. There's a lot to unpack with this game. Um, effectively, we're playing as a splinter faction of the Brotherhood of Steel who have gone to the east coast of America. So from the west coast, they've flown over from California over the Rocky Mountains where they've crash landed uh, next to Chicago. So they're more on the east coast than they, than they are west. <coughs> so, this is unknown territory for the Brotherhood of Steel. They're having to rely on recruited militia, I suppose. Um, so not strictly speaking, um, Brotherhood of Steel members, and that's what we are. We're a we're a tribesperson who's been recruited by a drill sergeant in the Brotherhood of Steel to complete a bunch of tests in order to perhaps earn entry into this extremely insular organization. So, here we go. Guess the voice. Can't hurt. 
All right, you mutated redneck, green skin, sex of irradiated flesh, listen up! I am Paladin Rychek. I am in charge of training you backward maggots in the art of war and survival. In my time in the Brotherhood, I have personally trained more than 50 initiates, and I am proud to say almost 14 of them are still alive and kicking. The Elders have ordered me to mold you flabby, hip-slapping, berry-picking, rat-rubbing, Brahmin kissers into capable warriors. And I am going to do it, even if it kills you. I will teach you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, spit, like a Brotherhood soldier. First level of training will be recruitment detail. You'll go to the surrounding villages and see what able-bodied primates are ready for an honest life's work. It is your duty to remind the village elders that if they want continued protection from the scum of this world, they will uphold their end of the bargain by providing resources and their best and brightest for brotherhood training. Now get your weak-kneed, superstitious, soft-skinned, uneducated butts to the armory. You'll be issued basic weapons and armor. There are three simple rules to follow with brotherhood equipment. If you damage your weapon, you will spend a week in the box. If you damage your armor, you will spend a week in the box. If you lose either, I'll kill you myself. And one final thing, ladies. Huh? Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. At ease, initiate. My name is General Barnaby. I will be giving you your orders before ever mission. But before that, I'd like to personally welcome you aboard. Considering that the Brotherhood basic training attrition rate is 85%, you should be very proud of yourself. Now, on to business. Two nights ago, raiders invaded the resource-rich tribal village of Brahminwood. Their losses have been heavy, and they are now ready to accept the Brotherhood's conditions for protection. We will return their lands and rescue these primitive people in exchange for food and a portion of their older children for new recruits. We must expand our ranks to meet mm -hmm. our objectives, which makes every village count. I don't know what is driving the raiders this close to our base of operations, but they have been punishing the surrounding area. Brahmin Wood is one of many villages that is now occupied by raiders. The inhabitants that did not escape have been slain or imprisoned. Make no mistake, Initiate, they have killed a fair amount of our brothers. Do not underestimate them. You will take your squad to Brahmin Wood, locate and eliminate the leader of the group of raiders. Once he is removed, his followers will surely fall into disarray. You will then use the Brotherhood's superior might and intellect to butcher the remaining criminals. This is a standard assault mission, so consult the map in your Pip-Boy for the latest intelligence on the area. One more thing, warrior. You must ensure that the village elder survives. He is the key to our plans for this town. According to the local tribal custom, he alone deals with outsiders. Without him, we can have no agreement with the rest of the tribe. Dismissed! Okay, so, Brotherhood recruits that have been assembled and sent out to one of the villages in order to purge it of the raiders who have taken it over, ostensibly so we could, well, unfortunately do exactly what the raiders are doing, extort the village for resources and recruits. So, the Brotherhood of Steel, after landing here in, uh, well, off, the, off Chicago, are really doing... I suppose what the NCR would later do in the Bethesda games, in that we've become uh, very different from the Brotherhood of old. We've become much more expansionist, much more, um, uh, I suppose, like a protection racket, but uh, with miniguns. Right. Yes, indeed, you recognise the voice. That's um, Arli Ermi, is that his name? So the drill sergeant. Uh, yes, he voices General Barnaby. Yeah. Right, hang on. So, eliminate the raider leader. There's the briefing, here's the map. Right, what are we talking about here? Hmm. Insertion point. The red circles outline enemy activity. The blue circles indicate additional information. Proceed to the extraction point upon the completion of mission objectives. Intelligence, intelligence reports that this area is lightly patrolled. So we've got an outer wall here on the settlement. Raiders have taken over this building and are using it as a guardhouse. The main door, this main door, bars your entry to the encampment. 
Scouts report this gatehouse as occupied by enemy forces. It serves as the first line of defence for the raiders. The kennels will likely be replaced by raider-trained war dogs. These war dogs have been known to be used as an early warning system. Okay. Where's number three? That is number three. Okay. Uh, a tool shed here. What's this? This is the newly established headquarters of the raiders. The leader is most likely to be found here. Expect any guards to be alert and resistance to be heavy. Okay, so I can't see an immediate entrance. Well, I have to find doors. So yeah, see if we can get through the walls. Okay, so that's the, uh, the HQ. So maybe we should assault that last? Intelligence reports that this building was another guard post. It is almost certain to be manned by the raiders. There is a well-known defended bunker here. The number of raiders inside is unknown. This area is patrolled, but further information is vague because of the dense ruins impeding scouting efforts. It's like a collapsed larger building, like an office block. What's this then? Open front? Can we get around there? Maybe. Maybe we should sneak around there. Okay, should we, should, we should probably try and surround the central building. Hmm. Archives. Oh yes, now I mustn't touch those. I clicked those when I tested the game last night, and it instantly crashed. So, <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Welcome to Fallout Tactics. So, I have two additional recruits with me, Stitch and Farsight. As the game progresses, I intend to go into the game files and modify these names after Twitch subscribers, because why not? For now though, I can't because I have to save the game, close it, modify it and relaunch it, so we'll do that in a bit. Hang on. It's a bit loud. Just gonna turn that down there. All right. How does it look? Can you guys see everything clearly? So, oh god, I've got nothing but throwing weapons. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, I'm okay, they gave me a submachine gun. Okay, so, well, it's a small arm. I've got a rock. <laughs> it's a rock. <laughs> oh shit. Nuka Cola, booze, nine millimeter ball, a collection of ancient nine millimeter rounds. Heavy grease to preserve them from the environment. Okay. Um, equip the submachine gun. Farsight. So she's like a sniper lady. What are her stats? Small guns. High perception. She's a long range sharpshooter. And this guy, Stitch, is a what? Small guns. First aid. He's a medic. Okay. So. Select the group, tell them all to crouch. Put them in sentry mode, so they'll shoot back. Right, I'm just going to save it, just in case it fucks up. Okay. A bunch of tribals in front of us. Let's go and say howdy. All of you stand up. We were unprepared for this. Lump, go speak to the village elder. Greetings to the Brotherhood of Steel. You are speaking with Charon, elder and tribal father to Brahmin Wood. You have arrived none too soon. Our village has fallen to raiders who rode out of the darkness. Some of my people escaped death or bondage by fleeing into the wasteland. But without tools and shelter... This must be the doing of the Brahmin God of Fate. With the bandits, we trade away our present. In the Brotherhood, we trade away our future. Ah, very well, Initiate. I fully agree to your terms, but I fear this decision will haunt me till I reach the eternal grazing field in the heavens. Our villagers are being held prisoner in the camp. Save them, and you will have more people to aid your cause. Lose them, and you will be cutting Brahmin from your own herd. So they have hostages. We've got to ensure that they survive. Okay, so the surviving villagers have been forced out and they're hiding in the ruins around. We'll keep our eyes open for any additionals. Okay. I see one of the raiders, two of the raiders. Is he patrolling back and forth? Okay. Right, so all of you, what are the hotkeys? Because I need to be able to know them. A, Q, and I presume Z, yep. And... 
Sorry, why did they flash like that? Got it. I haven't played this since 2014. There we go. Those are the hockeys. So sentry mode, aggressive mode, do nothing mode. Okay. Put them in do nothing mode. Tell them all to crouch and start moving towards the bridge. So, for context, for those who are just joining, not sure what they're looking at, uh, this was Fallout's first attempt to step out of the RPG mold. This is a tactical shooter in real time. You can put it into turn-based if you really want to, but for the most part the combat involves moving up carefully, uh, not necessarily seeking cover, well, yeah, seeking cover, as in trying to make sure that you can't get sniped from afar, and basically picking apart the enemy. It can go wrong shockingly quickly, just through one person throwing a grenade or one idiot friendly firing the guy in front of you. That sort of thing. Hang on. Dog patrol. That dog's going to rush us. So stitch, move there with your shotgun. Far sight, move there with your rifle. And lump, move there and then lie down. All of you switch to sentry mode. Shoot anyone that shoots at you. Okay, I'm actually going to have fast... Oh, we're taking fire. Far sight, stand up. Can you shoot? She can. She's firing. She got a hit. So try and pick off as much as we can with just our sharpshooter. Oops, careful. Okay, he's taking cover. Yeah, commandos would be a good comparison, I think. Okay, lump move there, stitch move there. Both of you go into aggressive mode and lie down. If that dog charges you, shoot it. Far sight. Is he going to stand up? Yeah. There we go. Only got a pistol, so far sight should be able to deal with him. Okay, it's gone and he's gone and healed, so... Oh, here, here comes another raider. Shit. Here comes the dog. Shoot the dog. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Okay, far sight should have it under control. Crouch far sight for a second, see if you can get him. In fact, lump. Quickly. Stand up and push him. Lie down. Stitch, move there. Whoop. Didn't need to do that. Crouch. Can I throw a rock? Hang on. Does it do anything? Can I... Well done, Lump. Thank you, Wara. Thank you very much, Wara. Die, you ra- Die, you raider bastard! Does it work? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, Stitch, run this way, quick. He's only got a sh- Yep, go, 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 go. Can you get him from that angle? Almost. Switch over to- Just shoot the bugger! Quick! Push him, push him, push him. Ouch! He's gone. Stitch got shot, but it's not too bad. That guy's trying to move up. Hide. You're not hidden. Okay, far sight, stand up. There we go. Wounded. Okay, lump on your feet. Push up quickly. He's only got a pistol. Can you shoot? 26%. Nah, rubbish. Okay, move here. Move here. Shouldn't get enough shots off on you. Good job. Stitch got it. Shit, watch out for him. Take cover here. Lie down. Okay, lump, you stay there. Far sight. In fact, far sight, move here. No? I can't move you there? Yes, I can. Thank you, Big Ant. Thank you very much, Big Ant. Sorry, I did, yeah, I'll switch the notifications back on now that all the cutscenes are gone. And thank you, Wara and Aldenon, an eagle-eyed Swede. Okay. Stitch, stand up. Move back here for a second. Lump, stand up. And just go and see if the bodies have anything worth taking. Nope, that's a dead dog. It's got nothing on it. What about this dude? Okay, 
uh, 9mm pistol ammo. And what's that? A Mauser pistol? And a baseball bat. Take it anyway. Okay. He's patrolling back and forth. He's got a pistol. Yeah, we should try and pick him off with Farsight. Farsight, can you move here? And then, can you crouch? Should have crouched and then moved there. Can she... Oh, look out. She's run into the open. Okay, lump move there and crouch. Only... Yeah, 0%. Can't hit him. Okay, Farsight should be able to handle it then. She's got a 45% chance to hit. How's your ammo, Farsight? She's got uh, 20 bullets remaining. So actually, hold the phone. We don't want to go through all of our ammunition. Oh, he's pushing, he's pushing. Quick, on your feet, shoot him. Shoot the bastard. Ooh, fuck, Lump just got hit. Shoot. Quick, 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 quick. Shit, Lump's hurt, big time. Don't die, don't die. Inject the stim pack. Okay, heal 14 health pack. HP even. Okay. We're okay. Nine mil ammo. Grab that stitch. In fact, give most of it over to uh, over to Lump. Forty-five caliber. What's that? A small knife and a gun. Right. The rest of it, just keep it. Uh, far sight on your feet. Loot that raider. Uh, stim pack. Oh wait, you got ten. What the fuck? Why's Lump Lump only got one? 9mm ammo, a single shot zip gun, and an improvised knife. Okay. Lump, maybe take another med- yeah, hang on. Farsight, can you give them to him? How does one do that? How do I trade with a squad member? Move items, is that- Did that work? It did, cool. Inject one of those into you please, Lump. Sweet, there we go. Right, far sight, you cover. Well, we don't know if there's anyone crouched that we haven't seen. So, very carefully. Yeah. You two start sneaking up. Um, I don't know, Pen and Wood. No, sorry, I do know. Yes, of course I do. Yes, it's, it's, it was on Steam. It's in my Steam library. And I haven't added it locally. So, it must be a Steam version. Stitch move there, stand up, and enter sentry mode only. Okay, same with you, Lump. Is there an active pause in the game? I can't remember. You can switch it over to turn-based if you really, for example, need to kick a door down and rush everyone in to line up and shoot. Um, but I can't remember how to switch it on. Feeling a bit better in Iraqa. You can probably tell that I'm not coughing as much anymore. I think I'm over the hill of it now. Thank you for asking. Are there any doors on this gate? There is, over here. That's the main compound, so... Let's actually hold off there for now. Oh, we can't actually get round there like I thought we could? Okay, we have to go left then. Right. Oh, really? Press enter to switch it to... Ah, there we go. Cool. So I can switch it over to a classic turn-based thing if I wish. Okay. Um, please bear with me just a moment. I'm just going to go for a wee-wee. Hang on.
My phone is doing wibbles. What's happening? Is that the dog sitter? Uh, cool, cool. Right. Okay, so... Stand up, please. Okay, nothing in there. A closed door. We'll check behind there in a moment. It's this doorway that I'm worried about. So, stitch move there. Shift click. Run around. Can I get him to turn to face a direction? Oops! Give me to discharge the gun. Okay, lump move there. Right, far sight. Could you please run over here, see if you can get a sight inside the doorway there. We should give it another save in case it uh, goes wrong and everyone gets killed. Uh, hang on. Right, far sight move here. Indeed broken. Oh, hello. A big raider with armour. Do you have a shot from where you are? Okay. Your accuracy, your accuracy does go up a little bit. Careful, you've only got a few bullets, so... Uh, you've got 20 bullets left for that weapon. Oh, here he comes. Is he going to push you? Oh, fuck. Here we go, shoot him. Lump, shoot the fucker. Come on, drop him. We got him. Okay. Yeah, lump is a bit pants, especially with uh, with small arms. I've got a skill for big weapons, but we haven't found one yet. The game is overlaying the steam notification. Oh, so it is, sorry. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Big Zvoraf and Lord Adorable and Macken Marcus. Thank you very much, Macken. Thank you for your sub bomb. Thank you. Hey darling. How you doing? You being cute? She's a happy girl. She's going to see the dog sitter later. You're going to run up and down their garden. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Silly sausage. Right. <coughs> Oops. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, she's happy. Okay. Maybe I should move that further up so she's not over the interface. How's that? Okay, then. So, let's go and in... Yeah, get that raider's body. Watch that door. Stitch, move up. Is he... No, no, he can move around, he's fine. Okay, the raider had a broken bottle, a, a submachine gun. Okay. Right. So, speaking general... Well, there's a lot to unpack with this particular game. Oh, there's some beer. Um, so, one of the, 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 the big acknowledgements is that obviously this isn't a canon entry into the Fallout series. And unfortunately, or fortunately, it depends on how you see it, it's not really... Oh, there's a key. It's not really uh, non-canon for a small reason. Um, I don't know why, but basically the developer, when they got their holds of the, of, the, of the property, they made some very major decisions concerning the law, and I don't know how they got away with it. Basically, um, they ignored the Fallout 50s thing. You know how the Fallout universe is meant to be stuck in the 1950s? You know, with the whole sort of 
ah, you know, the, 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 the cooking appliances that are all like Mr. Handy and all that stuff. And it's uh, cars, they're nuclear powered because of the, uh, the whole sort of techno uh, nuclear, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like um, the, the, the future vision of what the future would look like from a 1950s perspective. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, Fallout Tactics did away with that. Um, it basically took a more modern take on it, in the sense that um, technolo uh, technology continued to progress, and you do have things like M16s and weapons that did not exist in the 1950s. You've got things like Humvees. Uh, well, uh, sorry, just there. Was that an Uzi? When was the Uzi manufactured? It's Israeli, isn't it? So yeah, it's it's much more modern in its um, thematic sensibilities. Like later on, we will get M16s and um, that sort of jazz stuff that came from the Vietnam era. Oh really, 1960s? Am I mistaken? 1960s. Okay. Um, regardless, uh, so tech, so you'll see lots of sort of uh, inclusion of technology things that just weren't really in Fallout because they came later. Hang on. Um, but the other really big thing is the fact that, um, you know the vault program? So how are we going to get in here? Is this the only door? Well, that must be the key that we got. Lump, does it work? Hang on. Yeah, it must be. Hang on. Cool, we got it. We can go in. Watch it. There's probably raiders behind it. So let's open it, then back off. Um, so you know the vault program in Fallout, arguably one of the central pillars of the entire damn franchise. Um, the vault program was considered to be something of a joke in the interplay Fallout era, and then especially with Bethesda. It was a tongue-in-cheek thing that never took the tongue out of the cheek. Um, it was not meant to save anybody, it was just a bunch of cruel experiments for purposes that were unknown, right? Well, rather prominently, Fallout Tactics saw that and ignored it. The Vault program in this is not a joke. It's sincere. Of the 122 vaults that were made, precisely none of them were designed to fuck with their audience. There's no vault full of sock puppets and one man there's no vault full of artists being played white noise. There's no vault full of gambling addicts or drug addicts who were fed shit tons of drugs after a predetermined time. All of them were meant to save humanity. So there's a sort of sincerity in Fallout Tactics which is weirdly compelling. Like they're not taking the subject matter um, like as a joke? Like, the nuclear apocalypse is real, and it's fucking horrifying. Hang on. Shit. Careful. Sentry mode. They've got their backs turned right now. Don't shoot them. Uh, as far as I know, yes, Vault 77, the one with all the sock puppets, if my memory serves, is canon. Uh, Vault 22 was the one with all the gambling, I think. Oh shit. Oh shit. Quick, go live. Farsight, quick, shoot. The rest of you get down. If you don't have a shot, just get down. Farsight, do you have a shot? Shit, none of us do. Hold the phone. Farsight, crawl back there for a second. Sorry, 21, what did I say? Did I say 22? Oh yeah, of course, 21, gambling. <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, so the developer for this game decided to ignore all of that and, and treat the vault sincerely. They were attempts to save people, and uh, it didn't work out. And so as a result, the tone of this game is a lot more... Well, it's darker, but it's also more sincere? Basically, it doesn't, it doesn't treat it as a joke, and therefore it, it feels like... I don't know. It, it, just, it just feels more sincere. Like it's taking the subject matter more seriously than the original developers. Okay, what should we do? You know what, I'm just gonna bum rush him. Here we go. Oops. Go, 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 bum rush, quick. Shoot the fucker. Oh, nice! Okay. 
What about the other dude? Farsight, stand up. Our sharpshooter, go there. Lump, can you also stand up and go there? Oh shit, I moved Farsight, didn't mean to do that. There's a gate here. Lump, move here. He was, oh there he is, is that him? Okay. Stitch, can you crawl? Farsight, move there. Shoot him if he raises his head. Damn it, you're blocking each other. Careful. One like crit in the face and the dude is dead. Hmm? Oh, sorry, am I ignoring her? Hang on. That does pause. Hi, sweetie, I'm sorry, am I ignoring her? Right. Cool. So, for the people just joining, welcome to Fallout Tactics. It's a combat tactical game. I suppose a bit like, say, Commandos? In which we're playing... A, well, we're playing a bunch of recruits, tribals, who live... who have been presumably forced to come here uh, under the guise of protection, so like a protection racket, by a faction of the Brotherhood of Steel. So we're simple initiates in their organization. Given shit equipment and sent here to try and, well, clear a nearby village of bandits. Thank you, Captain Dolphin and Cyber Dog. Thank you. Uh, right. Um, I can't remember what that is, Morg. Sorry. We don't have a shot on this dude. That's a rifle or a shotgun, so be very careful. He could easily insta-kill one of us if we're not careful. Um, if Farsight can outflank him... Careful, weren't there like... That's a dog kennel? They're ripping up deer. Is that it there, though? Or Yeah. Okay, no, don't send Farsight out there. She... Okay, we'll do it carefully. Get ready to peg it inside if we have to. Yeah, shit, what's that? No, don't do that. Do I, should I just lean over and shoot the fucker? Hang on. Can you just stand up and shoot him? Damn. Hello? <coughs> oh, shit. Watch yourself. Whoop. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Stitch nearly got killed. Holy crap. Okay, back away from the door. Okay, Stitch, quickly use a, a, a stim pack. Do you have any serious injuries there? Uh, if, you, if you get crippled, you could be out of action for a while. Uh, you are... Where's your health stat? Status. Warrior initiate level one. I think you're okay. There's the dog. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
cool, well done. Right, far sight stay here and cover us. Is there us hey, hang on, grab the booze while no no not you far sight. Nope, fuck it, whatever. Okay. <coughs> uh handgun and some bullets. Okay. Hi, darling. Lulu's judging me for shooting the dog. Yeah. Okay. So there's another tent out there. Okay, Stitch, go out there. The villagers were growing crops in the uh, in the dust. Check that raider. Ah, yeah, he did have a shotgun. Holy crap, that was close. Stitch ne nearly got murdered there. Which shotgun is better? One second. So, a Beretta 470 Silver Hawk. A good-looking Italian double-barrel weapon. It's low rate of fire. A, 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 sorry, a, a low rate of fire, but potentially devastating if both barrels are fired together. Minimum strength four. Minimum strength four. Are they the same? Found everywhere. The 12 gauge pump is a popular means of self defense due to its wide area of effect and large ammunition capacity. Stick with the pump. Okay. Um, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say she probably wants to do what she normally does when I edit in the afternoons. She sits on my lap. So she wants to climb onto my lap and flop down and just have a snooze. That's why she's looking at me right now. You can tell that she's sleepy and she just wants to flop on my lap and sleep. She's a very, very cuddly dog. She's a one, one person, like a one owner dog. Hi, beautiful. I love you. Yeah. She's a happy girl. I can't believe she's six. What the fuck? What is time? Okay. Far sight, move here. Stitch, move there. Far sight, crouch. You two gentlemen advance. Check that tent. Okay. Both of you enter. Looks clear. Just watch out for... Oh, yeah, there's another dog over there, sleeping. Okay. Two of them. Is there a kennel master or something? What's that? Voodoo. Oh shit. No, what are you doing? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh no, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh shit! Careful! Ooh, bloody hell! That was stupid. Nearly shot each other there. That's what happens. I left my I left my sniper on sentry mode. Okay, quickly move there. She's gone to cover. Okay, far sight. Can you move there? We'll push her quickly. Stitch, move around the tent. Okay. Crouch. Just reveal reveal yourself quickly and shoot her. She's not there? There she is. Oh, she's hidden behind the tree. Okay, far sight move there. Careful, that is a rifle. Reload. Shit, we've only got a few bullets left for that sniper rifle. Okay, go back to sentry mode. In fact, passive mode. Save the bullets. We might need them for later. Let me try that turn-based thing then. Let's see how it goes. So, here we go. My turn. Three moves. I can go there. Hang on. One, three, four, five. Yeah, should be fine. So, lump move here. What the fuck? I thought I was in turn base. Oh, does she get her turn? Okay. Okay, hang on. Four action points. Move here. Yep, 59%. Take the shot. 
Nice. She's gone. A reaction shot? Evidently so, yeah. Sentry mode works in turn base as well. Oh, really? Hang on, let me just read that. Sentry mode. Defensive. Okay. What, does that just mean they get like a free shot back? Hmm. Okay. All of you stand up and go back to sentry mode. Hi there, social. Well, I was rummaging under the bed looking for uh, inspiration and I found this. I last played it in 2014, but I loved it to death in 2001. More stim packs, another shotgun. Just take everything. Okay, what about the dogs? Do they have anything on them? Thank you, Philippe, Kiara. Thank you very much, Philippe. And Red and Young, Cyberdog and Jurassic. Thank you sincerely, folks. <clears throat> Nothing on that dog there. What about that dog there? Okay, so... We've cleared this all out, right? So that's Central Tent. No doors through there. So that was one of their bunkers that we had on the intelligence, didn't we? This was another one. And that's the HQ. Okay, we'll keep clearing around. Brahman, that's their herd. Cattle. Put yourself low. Uh, we have enough stim packs, so stitch the medic. Inject yourself, please. <clears throat> there we go. So far sight, move up here, lump there, stitch there. So I'll change the names uh, after the uh, after the mission once we're back at the base. I'll pick uh, patrons and Twitch subs just for the funsies. Sorry, my voice. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so Brahman, Brahman, wounded Brahman. They're looking quite sickly. Okay, lump, get the gate. Let's also save the game before it goes wrong. Step through. Now, what is aggressive mode? Sorry, just get the hot... So it's... That. Okay, got it. Right, so far sight, move up. Lump move up, stitch move up. Cover each other as you go. Shoot anything that moves. In fact, cancel that. Put you into sentry mode only. Return fire. So a guard at the door. Lump move here, stitch move here. So for those lurking at the back... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I, rem I remember this. Yeah, I remember this bit. Two entrances here and here. Uh, for those lurking at the back, you're looking at a non-canon entry in the Fallout series. Uh, it went Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 under Interplay, and then for Fallout 3, I'm pretty sorry, I'm pretty sure they were working on Fallout Fallout 3 at the same time. Uh, a project that they codenamed in-house Van Buren? Van Van something. Um, they since outsourced Fallout to an Australian company who made this. It's not an RPG, it's a sort of tactical shooter type thing. And for some reason, they got to act really fast and loose with the cannon. Uh, the big notable one is that um, it's not, strictly speaking, sort of 50s future tech. There's lots of modern tech in here too, like M16s and Humvees. And also, weirdly, uh, well, they, they got to play really loose with the Brotherhood of Steel, who were turned into, I suppose, what Bethesda's NCR became. Uh, an expansionist, technocratic, um, legitimate government type situation, as opposed to a super religious, highly, um, highly isolationist uh, group of bunker people, I suppose, which they were in Fallout 1 and 2. Um, and the other big change, that arguably the biggest change, that makes it completely incompatible with the rest of the Fallout series, is that in this game, the vaults were not a joke. They were not some vault tech conspiracy. They were sincere. They were actually attempts to save the, the populace of uh, America. With one central vault, Vault Zero, being the control vault that would house 
the president and all the rest of the uh, the staff. And when a pre-arranged signal was given, Vault Zero would open up all of the vaults and they would repopulate the surface and recolonize, recolonize America. Okay, so there's no guard at the door, so I see tribal hostages. The, yeah, here they are. So, how many... Is that a bandit? Are the bandits at the door? They're going to start shooting the... Uh... Yeah, we've got to do this there. So there's one of the guards. Yeah, remember, our objective, according to the tribal leader, he wants us to save these people. If they die, no deal with the Brotherhood of Steel. So, we're going to have to do this hyper-aggressively. Hmm. Uh, don't have Farsight go in alone on one entrance, just in case, like, she gets bummed by, like, dogs or something that are right there. Yeah, we might have to switch to turn base as we sneak in. <clears throat> Okay. Reload. Could. That could be an idea. She doesn't have the shotgun on her. Yeah, hold on a second. Lump, give her the shotgun. Oh. Uh, she's going to need some bullets. Okay, and... Oh god, he got a single bullet! Oh shit, okay, we're low on ammo all over. Okay, we'll give... <laughs> you got a single bullet, Farsight. Make it count. Right. Uh, no one knows, uh, DJ. Uh, the Fallout series concerns America only, so no one knows what happened to Europe. I think the general assumption would be nothing good. Right, here we go then. So, lump move here. Maybe we should make this turn base. How does, has it, I'll, I'll just save it. If it cocks up, it cocks up. Hang on. I'm just nervously saving now. So. End turn, end combat. So how does it work? So for five points we go there. Start with lump then. So for three points go here. He sees nothing. For four points go here. Shit. Okay, they got a reaction shot off. Just two? If there's just two, we should be able to handle it. So... Four points. One, two, three, four. Okay, four points move here. 30% chance to get the shot. Is that a melee weapon in his hand? It might be. Okay, far sight. Eight points, damn it. Shit, so that's everything. Shit, I just hope they don't like start swinging grenades against the, the tribals, otherwise we're in trouble. Okay, take the shot anyway. 30%. Oh, you missed. Severely wounded that raider, though. Okay. So, end turn. No, don't touch them. God damn it. Okay, melee. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't run amongst them. Okay. Lump. 34% to hit that dude. God damn it. Does he not have a melee weapon that we could equip? I mean, he's... Isn't he good in the melee? Fuck. Equip this. Okay, 49% chance to smack this dude. Ah, oh, damn it. He's just slower than a dead turtle, he says. Rude. Okay, it's all you can do. Farsight. Oh, Christ. No shot. Okay, focus on this dude first. 60%. 
Oh shit, you just wounded one of the... Okay, one of the hostages. Good job, Farsight, your only shell as well. Okay, try again, 33%. God damn it! Oh god. You're gonna fire buckshot into the room with all the tribals? Don't do that. Okay, instead, stand up. Move into the room, we need to get as close as possible. Oh god. Ouch, lump's got- oof! Tribals! Run! Do something! Stitch, you gotta stop him. Okay, five, hang on. So, one, two, three, four, five, he'll have three, so he's gotta move- Fuck. He can only move four, that's the trouble. Ugh. Okay, lump start with him. 50% chance to swing with the baseball bat. <laughs> Come on! Oh, for fuck's sake, lump. Right. Farsight shoots. Still unhurt. No one's touched him. You know what, Farsight? Just get out of there. We need you to shoot that dude over there before he murders hostages. Okay. Move here. Still got... No, he's out of line of sight. Okay. What's this, sorry? Is that sentry? Enter Overwatch mode. Here we go. Enter Overwatch mode. And turn. Ouch! Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no! Lump's gonna die. What's he doing? Is he... I think he's healing. He's changing weapon? Okay, Lump. Open inventory. Inject stim pack. Inject another stim pack. Stand up. Inject another stim pack. I'm getting the shit kicked out of me over here. Farsight does have a shot, 30%. Good, almost dead. Got him, there we go. Okay, no hostages have been killed, although some of them have been horribly peppered with, uh, with buckshot there. Okay. Stitch, don't go into Overwatch mode, because you might... Oops. Oh shit, I put him in Overwatch mode. Okay, my bad. Right, lump, beat that guy to death. 67% with the baseball bat. Okay, wounded. What the... Okay. Only slightly wounded. Um, far sight, move... Just get, out, just get the fuck out of the way, frankly. Go over there. Stitch, get over here with your gun. So the two of them are having a melee fight over here in the <laughs> fucking doorway. Right. So, lump, swing with the baseball bat. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, wait. Almost dead. We knocked him down, though. All right. Stitch, you stand there. Let Lump deal with it. Don't go into Overwatch mode, just stand there. Okay, S end turn. Okay, Lump Beef Broth. 69, nice! There we go, he's dead. We did it! <clears throat> we saved him! Thank you, the Brahmin. Will the raiders be coming back? I'm thirsty. Thank you so much! Thank the Brahmin, we're all safe. Praise the Brotherhood. Hey, you're cute. <laughs> okay. Ooh, a med kit, a pipe wrench, and a couple of stim packs. We did it. So, for those just joining the stream, uh, we've saved the hostages that have been taken by a bunch of raiders attacking this small town, this small village of Brahman Wood. Whoops. Uh, we are tribals ourselves. We're, we're here with the Brotherhood of Steel, but we're really just initiates. We're local initiates that have been, that have been recruited into the organization. Uh-oh. Who are currently looking for new blood. A splinter faction of the Brotherhood of Steel left California and flew to the east coast of America, ostensibly hunting the super mutants from the first game, but in reality it was a... It was kind of a purge, like a, is that even the right word for it? Like a benign purge of the uh, 
those that did not quite fit with the Brotherhood's ideals. So exiled away from uh, away from the actual Brotherhood of Steel. <clears throat> yeah, a crusade, I suppose, but you know what I mean. It's a uh, banished. Yeah. Why is this one not canon, Paris? Um, the developer decided to take some extreme um, liberties with the universe. In short, uh, the Brotherhood of Steel are very different. Uh, they're uh, they're much more akin to the NCR in the modern game in the modern games as opposed to the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, the Vault program was not a joke. It was sincere, an attempt to save people. It wasn't Vault Tech fucking around and locking people up in like a. <sighs> Fuck! Some of them were stupid. Like, what's that vault where it's like all the politicians get locked into a vault and their overseer is like a guy called Soup Can Harry or something? Like some nut job off the streets. Hang on. Um, yes, yeah, so the vault tech stuff was, it was not a joke. It was, uh, it was sincere. Hang on. Um, right, so we've saved them. Nothing else worth looting here. Can I talk to them? No. So there was one patrol out there, wasn't there? Um, okay, let's just step outside. In fact, just cross quickly. Indeed, so this game doesn't really fit with the rest of the Fallout universe. And arguably, by the end of it, it couldn't. Because the course of this game does indeed take you across most of the East Coast and middle sections of America, um, retaming the wilderness, as it were. Hang on, the patrols... Okay, wait for it to go past. Wait for it to get... Yeah, just get... Well, let, let the patrol get close and then we'll pounce. Mainly because our sniper, Farsight, our sharpshooter even, doesn't quite have enough bullets. Now. Go. Shit. Only some of them were weird experiments before Fallout 3. Um, I couldn't tell you um, exactly the timeline, but I know that of 122 volts, only 17 were normal. Shit. The rest were all experiments. Shit, that's a shotgun. Back away. Ooh, shit. Stitches hurt. Fuck. Lie down. Get Farsight up here to shoot that one. Farsight, shoot it. Oh shit, Stitch is hurt again. Stand up there. Oh. Fuck. Lie down, Farsight. She's lying down as well. Fuck, she's hit. She's out. God damn it. It's a bit dicey. We need to push that tent, but that dude's got like a shotgun. Fuck it, just push him. Push him super quick. Just be hyper aggressive. And go. Shit, 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 shit. Shoot him. Shoot him. Fuck. Nice. Oof. That was risky. Okay, get in that tent quick. Okay, I need to give Farsight a replacement weapon. Stitch, cover the door. You two lump. Both of you s go down. Farsight, stand up. Ah, shotgun shells and some Mentat drugs. Okay, good. Oh, shit. Here comes this one. Okay, shoot her as she comes through. Okay, I'm just going to put it into turn-based. Oh, she got a shot off first. Okay, Lump has 8% chance to hit. Switch to melee mode. Stand up. You'll take four action points to swing. 
So you've got two action points to move. Okay, fuck it, just charge then. So just run here for six action points. So Stitch, I want you two. Three action points to move here. Okay, 40% chance to hit. You can shoot from there or you can move once. Okay, one more action point forward. There. Okay, shoot. Damn. Okay, that's us out. End turn. Whoop. Careful. Is there another combatant? I, s I heard someone make a move. Okay, it's their bunker over there. Okay. Hmm. Four action points to move. One, two, three, four. Okay, so can I get close enough? No, I can't. Stitch is going to have to probably do it. Damn it. Okay, just push her. Uh, oh, wait a second. Hang on. Can I actually hit her? I can. Ah, damn it. One action point required. Move here. <laughs> okay, just stand there looking at her. Stitch, move... Here. I hope her accuracy is, is cut by us being super close to her. Uh, you've already looted those, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Go there. Did I loot that dude? Yeah. End turn. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. Ooh. She says, you ready, bitch? Okay, three action points. Lump moves there. Ooh, close. 68%. Okay, smack her. She's severely wounded. Very good. Okay, Stitch, just let him handle it. End turn. Oof. Oh no, so it's a miss. Okay, I think she does have serious penalties. <clears throat> there we go. 66% chance to hit. Oh, lovely. Holy shit. Knocked her into next week. Ah, good. So she's got... Yeah, she had a hunting rifle, the same as Farsight. There we go. Make sure she gets the ammo. Lovely. Hi there, Nun City. Welcome indeed. I thank you, the Wandering Biker, and Senior Linz, and Psycho, and tr uh, Treenox, and Arch. Thank you all of you for your kindness, folks. Thank you. Whoops. Right. So. Farsight steps out of the tent to look at her two tribal fellows. I doubt we're all from the same tribe. So, yeah. The, ar the arrival of the Brotherhood of Steel is a bit of a sea change for them, isn't it? Suddenly, this new, incredibly powerful faction turns up, rendering all their previous tribal affiliations silly. It's now adapt or die. Okay. Their water well, their bunker, they've got quite a bit of cover over there, don't they? Is he alone in that bunker? We need to eliminate him. Okay. So, simple as. Give it another save. Uh, one of the most memorable missions for this uh, for this particular game that I um, that I, I hope to encounter soon. It's um, it's one of the ones that I, I think stands in stark contrast to the rest of the Fallout franchise with Bethesda. There's a mission where we, as initiates of the Brotherhood of Steel, are asked to guard a vehicle convoy. And it turns out that vehicle convoy contains supplies. Nothing fancy, just food and medicine. But what's interesting is that throughout the mission, as you navigate through a city, I seem to remember that we were attacked by multiple different groups who, are, who would obviously be interested in those supplies. One of those groups is just desperate, starving people. Literally, just, just skeletal, skeletal, emaciated people throwing rocks and attacking with, like, knives, improvised knives. And they're screaming and they're panicked and they're desperate. And the mission asks you to just gun them down simply because it's not their supplies. They don't have the Brotherhood's protection or whatever. You know, they're not, they're not 
following the rules, the extortionate rules of the Brotherhood of Steel. So I remembered it. It, it stuck in my brain all the way from when I was like 16 or whatever. I was like, oh god, you know, it's, it's really quite dark. And I remember it stands in stark contrast to a lot of the Bethesda stuff, where it's like, hey, it's the post-apocalypse, it's fun! Whereas this one, it's like, no, it's fucking grim. No one is having fun here. He doesn't... hang on, he's not Sinus. Farsight, you say. Stay, stay, stay. Do you have a shot on him? Hang on. No, she can't see him. Make sure she can see him. Yeah, 50, okay. You hold. Thank you, Bishniak. Thank you very much, Bishniak. Um, wait a second, how do we know there aren't traps? There might be traps. Okay, get really close. Okay, close enough. Ready? Ready. Go aggressive and stand up. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh! Damn it! Oh fuck, he's got a shotgun. Fuck that. Bad idea. Far sight. Drop him. Damn it, he's gone down. Oh, nice shot. Well done. Uh, hang on. Lump was healed. Far sight hit the raider. Doesn't specify where he was shot. Well done, though. <clears throat> okay, that's the bunker cleared. Thank you, Bishniak. And thank you, M1 and the Wandering Biker. Stay. Yeah, Lump's abilities are quite pants at the minute. Door's there. Is there no other way through? No. What's this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Pre-prepared bunker area. Oh, crap. Shit, the bed. Are we supposed to move through that bit? Okay, we got the door unlocked. Step through. Uh, ooh, more bullets for far sight, some brass knuckles, and a shotgun. You can enter aim mode by right-clicking the weapon. I think it just shoots? Let me just test. Oh dear, what's going on there? Weird. No, I think it just fires the gun. Oh wait, there, there we go. Toggle targeted shot. Right-click, sets default target location. Ah, cool. There we go. Neat. You can do the same with the melee weapons. Aim for the head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hang on. No ammo left. We need to have a quick meet and greet. Get the tribe, yeah, get the tribal squad together. So for those just joining the stream, welcome to, to welcome to 2000, uh, 2001's Fallout Tactics. So we're playing as some tribals who have been cajoled into joining the expansionist Brotherhood of Steel, or a, a, a faction of them on the east coast of America, or the northeast coast of America. Uh, ooh, a grenade, hold on. Lump's got a grenade? Lump's got a grenade. Okay, put that in his hand. A plunger. Spear. Hmm. Wait, for, does that mean I can lob these? Thrust. Throw. Okay, actually, yeah, throwing skill. So, hold on to those spears. Ooh. Oh, uh, ammo. Hang on a second. Um, so, give the 9mm nine nine bullets over to Lump for his submachine gun. Keep the shotgun in your hand. Farsight. Give those two shotgun shells over to uh, Stitch. Um, okay, and Lump reaches into his bag and gives a cluster of... Sorry, what flavour ammo is that? That's um, <clears throat> 7.62mm ammo for the rifle. 
Okay. Uh, I think it's the yellow button. Yellow button? Yellow button. Hmm. Okay. Uh, anything in that crate lump? Uh, ooh, a glass bottle. Some Molotov cocktails. Okay. Uh, some booze. Some stim packs. And then Farsight can grab those bullets. Cool. And Stitch can get the other bullets. <clears throat> uh, indeed, so um, for those who are watching and are perhaps intrigued, I do strongly recommend perhaps giving Fallout 1 and 2 a go. You'll note that the atmosphere for this, for this particular type of game seems much darker. The Interplay's Fallouts had a very different tone. Like the howling wind, the sort of the crying, uh, the, the sounds of sort of crying in the background music. It was all very dark. Sure, there was the occasional tongue-in-cheek moment, but it was very occasional. Bethesda seems to live with the tongue in the cheek all the time. Right, one second. Door, yeah, we've got the keys for all of the guard houses. Okay. Go low. Sentry mode only. Oh shit, Hightower. Feel better soon. Sorry to hear you got COVID. Fuck. That sucks. Ah, can we sneak around? We might be able to get away with sneaking around. Yeah, let's not push a pre-prepared position. Oh shit, there might be one there as well. It's a bit of a rabbit. Yeah, it's a warren. Jesus, look at it. Okay. Let's go low, all of you, and start creeping forward. Far sight, stay at the back just in case we have to shoot somebody. Yeah, stay low. What's that? Okay, so there's a patrol there. Yeah. Okay. That's no joke. Lump go there. Stitch go there. Reload your gun. Far sight, you just cover. Can we sneak around? Yes, we can. Farsight, you do the same when the patrol is facing the other way. <clears throat> so as the game continues, and as different areas start to become safer for the Brotherhood of Steel, so the game will open up after this. We'll be able to travel from point to point, um, either on foot or with vehicles that are assembled and maintained by the Brotherhood of Steel. Eventually, APCs that will trundle across the map with your squad. As different areas are made safe, you'll be able to get supplies and resources from the Brotherhood of Steel bases, the bunkers that are set up all over uh, the Midwest and the East Coast of America. And as more recruits are available, you get an ever-expanding pool of people to join your team. So you can build up a team of specialists, both to replace those that are killed and with particular skills that complement your custom-built commando-style loadout. And some of those options get kind of wacky. I'm not going to spoil exactly why, but, um, yeah. Okay. Good to hear it, ha uh, Hail Kiers. Um, maybe not really for me, I'm afraid. Maybe not. Okay. Raider with a pistol. Okay, I'm going to move Stitch up carefully. Lump, you stay there. Farsight, you stay there. Put yourself in sentry modes. Yeah, you are. Okay, going to save it. Right, we're about to make our presence known. Stitch, go up behind that dude and just blow his head off. Shit, 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 shit. Oof. I'm going to settle your hash. What the hell does that mean? Shit. 
chat? What does that mean? <clears throat> yeah, maybe he, maybe he wanted some hash browns. It's been ages since... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's been ages since I've had hash browns. Okay. Stand up. Shoot anyone that comes around the corner, Stitch. Uh, can Farsight shoot from that position? Stand up. Move there, Farsight. Can you see anyone, or is that just a solid wall? No. Okay. Lump, stand up. Uh, hang on. Sorry, still learning, learning the keys. Move there. Okay, well, we should, I hope, be able to dodge. Yeah, we've got to go all the way around. Fast light come around. Stay low. Sentry mode only. Fast light go here. Oh, we're getting pushed. Oh, shit. Aggressive mode. Shoot, shoot the fucker. Ooh, nice shot! Jesus Christ, Farsight is... Yeah. Cold-blooded. Drop that dude. Okay, cover the other two as they move. Stitch, go. Lump, go. Looks clear. Stitch, go. Lump, go. Whoop, taking fire. Bullets pinging all around, but we're mostly okay. Okay. We should be able to sneak up on that bunker now. Lump move. Is there anyone up there? I'm, I'm going to assume there's someone up there, so... Okay, what happens when Lump turns this corner? No, oh, hello, we saw someone there. Hoping we can push them. Far sight. Run up. Try not to get shot in the brain case. Well done. Move here. Okay. Lump, turn the corner. Shh, I'm really nervous about that. Move there. Far sight, move there. Stitch, move behind. Okay, there they are. They're still in position. Okay, save it before we all get killed by some revealing sniper up there. Switch over to turn-based. Right, lump. Stand up. Move here. Damn it, do I have to do that in one swift action? Possibly. Stitch, move here. Stand up. Fast sight here. We're going to bunch up a little bit, I'm afraid. Grenade time, possibly, but I'm thinking of saving it for like, like if we, if I don't know what's in here, if there's gonna be like fucking shit tons of them. Hmm. I do have my throwing spears. Right, end my turn for a second. Okay, lump. How many action points does it cost you to climb that? Because it doesn't actually tell me. Uh, okay. Four? Fucking hell. Oh, what the... Dude! Nah. That didn't help. Okay, actually, just take cover again. Stitch, I want you to move here. Yeah, they're getting reaction shots. Okay, low. Enter. It's kind of stupid. Oh, uh, you can still be seen. Oh, dear. Okay. Lump, how much? So three action points to go here. So Lump is going to go here. Off. Switch over to throw for six action points. Oh, 25%? Uh. Oh, <laughs> I actually hit. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Well done. All your action points and a spear, but you hit. Right. Stitch. Stand up. you got four action points left. God damn it. Okay, move three here. 
Oh, I'm doing very badly here. And then lie, not enough to lie down. Not enough to, not enough to crouch. Just storm the goddamn room. Just storm it. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, it's a rifle. It's a proper weapon. Ouch. We're okay. Okay, lump. Screw the spear. 33%, uh, 31%. Yeah, maybe don't. Nah, just fuck it. Just throw him. It's a bit of a meme. Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, two action points move here. Spearman runs into the room and for 33%. <laughs> just throws it against the barrel. Farsight shakes her head, going, What the fuck? Shoots that dude, severely wounded. Damn it. Okay, Stitch, I want you to move here for three action points. And shoot that dude for 43 percent. Oh, bloody hell! Okay, his entire left side just blew out there. Dead before he hit the ground. Okay, lump. With your last spear. <laughs> okay, six action points. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got two action points to move closer. Lump moves closer. And for 33% for throws the spear. Ah, oh, you're rubbish. Stitch, take the shot. 43%. Missed, goddammit. Farsight aims carefully with all the chaos. <gasps> Almost dead. Take another shot. Damn it. End turn. Oh, he just grabbed it. He just nicked my spear. He just nicked my spear. You bastard. You cheeky bastard. Okay, for three action points. Lump walks closer. Switches over to aimed mode. Wait. Aimed mode. Aims right for his head. No? Can I do it? Yeah. Ah! Oh, misses. The others just end turn because I want Lump to get this kill. Oof! Okay, that was stupid. Oof! Okay, try again. Aim for the... <laughs> Aim for his nuts. Missed. Ah. Okay, take out of aim mode. Hang on. Just swing normally for four. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. I only got three. Can I thrust it? Oh, fuck's sake. Take a stim pack then. Okay, end turn. Okay, and then... Uh, just, just swing twice. Hang on. What am I doing? There we go. Just swing twice. 55%. Miss. 55%. Oh, come on, dude. Just shoot him. Ooh, you just hit lump. This guy does not want to die. What the fuck? There we go. You wounded lump, though. Right. Lump beef broth loots them. They've got just a pistol, uh, two spears. Did he take both of the spears? Oh, of course, because one stabbed him, didn't he? What's that? Oh, it's like a punch dagger, isn't it? Quite a few rifle bullets there. Take all of those. Okay. Don't forget your spear. Okay, any crates in here that we can loot? Yes, indeed. Um, looking at the time, folks, I do need to go and get on with editing momentarily. I'm having fun, though. Ooh, what the fuck? Grenades. Incendiary grenades. Ooh. Okay. Bet you anything there's a dude up there. Okay, inject another stim pack. What does beer do? Um... Similar to pre-war beer, only warmer. You drink it, you fall over. Right. Oh, look at her. She's a sleepy puppy. <laughs> okay. Hi, darling. One moment, if you please. Hey, sausage.
very comfy. She's got a whole sofa to herself. I sit on it from time to time, but she spends by far the bulk of the time on it. So really, it is her sofa. Okay, all tribal stand up. Let's move to the doorway. Okay, keep yourself in aggressive mode in case we have to defend ourselves. Um, let's equip those incendiary. Where are they? In fact, just equip this Molotov cocktail. Go into sentry mode. Far sight and stitch take the front. Shoot anyone that turns up through here. Okay, stitch move here. Far sight here. Lump stay at the back for a second. It's probably going to be... Yeah, it's a bit of a collapsed building here, isn't it? The material must have been taken away over time. Some of it. Okay. I've got this hunch that there's someone up there, you see. Seems too perfect. Thank you, Ark. Thank you very much, Ark. Hmm. Watch out for this corridor as well. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay, hold on. Stitch, move up close. Reload the gun. Lump. Can you hit the floor? Stitch, crouch. Can I target the floor? Try it. Here I go. I'm going to throw a Molotov cocktail. See if I can hit him. Ooh. Also, I'm not sure that's what a Molotov cocktail does, but okay. Oh, careful. Stitch is taking fire. Pull back a second. Okay, Stitch, hold. Far sight, move up behind. In fact, far sight, go upstairs, quick. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit, the bed. No, I was correct. I was so correct. Reload. Crouch. Go into aggressive mode. Shoot anyone that comes around the corner. So, one, two, three. We've got three raiders in the area. Right. Lump, go up there and melee him. In fact, before you do that, lob a Molotov up, see if you can get him. Can we get him? Ooh. Mm. Oh! Just got hit there. Inject a stim pack to quickly start knitting that injury together. Okay, it was only a pistol though, so we shouldn't have too much trouble just charging him. So, right. Turn base mode. Lump quickly climbs up the ladder. Takes a shot, but he missed. Oh no, fuck, it's not a pistol, it's a rifle. Okay. 60% chance to hit, but insufficient action points. Get nice and close. Mwah. Far sight, stay there. Stitch, stay there. Enter Overwatch mode. Computer's turn. Oh, it's a miss. Too close, you can't hit me. Okay. Lump spins round and swings. Severely wounded. You're badly hidden there. Again? Miss. Okay. At least we don't have to worry about ammo when it comes to the melee weapons, eh? Farsight, you stay. Honestly, just all of you stay. So, overwatch mode. Overwatch mode. Whoop. Miss, miss. Lump once again. Bone. So white. What? The dude is almost dead. Again, a miss. Yep, just take it steady. Overwatch, overwatch. Miss. He's reloading. Lump. Swing. Miss. Swing. Oh, God damn it! I've never seen anyone make point and click lo look so difficult. <laughs> you bastard! Fuck you! Fuck you, sir! Miss. And something? Change weapon? Not sure what he did. What did he do? Overwatch mode. It didn't specify what he did. 67% chance to swing. There we go. Got him. Right. Far sight. Then I'd like you to climb up here. And I presume you'll be able to get a sh Where are you going? Okay, you know what? Just end. End the turn base. Thank you, Tacticus. What the fuck is she doing? Right, do you have a shot on any of them? Don't shoot until I tell you. Um, Where's there a Brahmin in the central courtyard? Okay. 
Evidently not. What happens if you stand up? No shot. Okay. Uh, hunting rifle. Take all of that stuff. Lump, move back downstairs. Take a knee. Shoot anything that moves. Right. Let's deal with this bastard. Careful, you're going to get shot there because there's a dude over there. We'll just rush him. We'll just rush him in the melee. Switch to... There we go. So, for four action points, lump intrepidly intrepids around the corner. And then for four action points, swings. I am indestructible, says the raider. I missed, dude. You're not indestructible. For five action points, Stitch is going to move here. He's wounded there. And then I'm going to have him... In fact, just go there. And just, just uh, go... I don't know. Lie down. Right. Far sight, you just go into Overwatch. Computer's turn. He moves... Oh! He tries to hit Lump and takes a shot from Far sight, but Far sight missed. Lump uh, turns round and switches to aim for his eyes for 65% chance to hit. Oh, no, wait. 38% chance to hit? Uh, go for his head, then. Miss. Yeah, I shouldn't do that. I, I, yeah, I don't really have the action points to fuck around with that shit. No, I could, yeah, I can't do anything now. Ugh. Stitch, take aim with the shotgun. Oh, you just hit lump. There you go. You didn't that time. Ooh, brass knuckles. If you've got like a melee character. Okay, so there was still a dude over here. Right. Stand up. Hang on. Nope, far sight. Stay up there. Uh, I, should, I should go with the hotkeys, really, shouldn't I? Oh, wait, sorry. We're still in... My bad. Oh, hang on. We do see him. Only if he stands up. Okay, keep him pinned down, then. Let's go. Outflank him while he's pinned. Da, 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 da. Nice! He's toast. Alrighty then. What's that? Afterburner gum type of drug. Afterburner gum. What does it say? Afterburner is a powerful met, uh, met amphetamine? Is it supposed to be methamphetamine, or am I, going, am, I, am I going crazy? Chewing gum that stimulates the central nervous system. The initial euphoric rush rarely lasts more than a few minutes, but during that time, the user is filled with a rush of energy and strength. Is it methamphetamine? It is. Wait, methamphetamine? Oh, I see. Is it? Is it? Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, well, it's just chewing gum. D sorry, didn't seem to specify. But what does it do? Strength? Energy and strength. What does that mean? Just strength? Hmm. Thank you, NW Carbide. Thank you very much, N N N NW. Right, we can see the final objective. Okay. So, I'm just going to push on. Hoping I can... Yeah, I've got to get on with work in a minute, but I want to try and get this mission done. Right. Inject a stim pack there, Lump. Fully healed. So all three of you get together. Stand up, aggressive mode, save the game. For those just joining the stream, our mission as a group of tribals is to go to this village that the Brotherhood of Steel are trying to recruit. Or right, oh shit. Shit, the bin. Yikes. Lump, shoot, shoot, shoot. Son of a bitch, he says. Almost dead. Okay, far sight, stand up. You got a shot? Stand up fully. Oh, nice. Okay, there's another dude over there. Lump is feeling a bit useless right about now. Um, 
Yeah, go back to equipping a submachine gun. Burst mode. He's... Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, on your feet, lump. Push him. Farsight, push him. A stitch even, not farsight. Shoot him. Shoot him. Can't see him. There you go. Quick. The fuck? Why are you guys sucking? Shit. Severely wounded. Just fucking smack him. Got him. There we go. Right. Quickly loot everything. Take all. We'll distribute it later. Have a good one, Percivo. Take care. Have a lovely day. Okay, keep moving carefully this time. So, uh, yes, we're here as a group of tribals who... Oh, watch out. A dog. One of their attack dogs. Here it comes. Shoot it. It's gone. What does it say there? Secret door? Secret door? No, there isn't. What does it mean, blow it up? Or do we do we have do we lack the perception skill? Dev prank, maybe. Okay, into the next room. So yeah, we're here to try and kill some raiders that have taken over a village. We've saved the hostages. Now all we have to do is eliminate the bandit leader. And the chieftain will pledge their resources and recruits to the Brotherhood. Which is something weirdly... Oh shit! Oh, what the fuck? Jesus, there was a dude right there. We just uh, had some friendly fire there. Farsight just got shot by Stitch. Crap. Okay, take all of that. Yeah, Lump will get better. As we get heavy weapons, Lump will get better. Okay, so Farsight, you go first. Yeah, out into the courtyard, go. Lie down there. You two just lie down. Fucking hell! Is she gonna be okay? Lie flat. Engage them both. Lump move there in case we get pushed. Same with you, Stitch. Don't get shot, don't get shot, don't get shot. Severely, yeah, she's doing fine. <clears throat> I don't think they've got the weapons. Yeah, they can't make the range. That you can. Hang on. Cool, stay. cool there we go. Sharpshooter did it. Well done. Stand up. You two. Move there and there. Far sight you cover. Sorry. One minute. There we go. Okay, so... Quickly have Stitch check the body. Thank you, that guy. 404. Thank you, that guy. Club. A shotgun. Okay. Farsight cover us. We're going to approach. Do it carefully without alerting... What I presume is going to be a bandit leader. Good idea, H3. I should make uh, Stitch do it. So hang on, Stitch, can you... Uh, fully healed, it says. Can I make you inject one? Oh, it has to be there, doesn't it? So use on lump. Because you have the doctor ability. Fully healed. Nice. Right. So lump is there. Switch to sentry mode. Stitch is there. Sentry mode. Far sight move up. Is there a back entrance? Ooh, hang on. Send Stitch this way. 
You two wait at the entrance. Let's take this carefully. Right, so we've got an idea of the layout. Okay, there's a, there's a guard here. So just try to remem remember where everyone is. There. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is going to be the chieftain, isn't it? There, there. So one, two, three. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a dude there. Careful. Oh, quick. Push, push, push. Push him. Shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Nice. Okay, take that rifle. Give it to fast sight. Okay. So. Pop upstairs for a second. Go prone. Can we see inside? Have someone go behind the building for a second so I can see the layout again. I'm just trying to look for their shapes. No. No, I can't see them easily. They'll get a shot on me. Okay. Can I drop grenades from above from there, do you reckon, or...? I don't think it's very convenient. Maybe. Nah, fuck it, we'll just throw them from inside. Let's just get... yeah, we'll go through the main entrance. Farsight, you come back here. Right. Okay. Make sure everyone's fully healed before we go anywhere. Well, looky oh, here. Oh shit, got spotted. I don't recall giving out invites to Brotherhood of Steel Dogs. <laughs> I bet my boss will give me all the promotion and props I need after I bring him some Brotherhood slaves. Let's see what you trained monkeys can show little old Horace. Okay. I, oh. uh... <laughs> may have underestimated your abilities. <laughs> oh, wipe that grin off your face. Your Brotherhood is no different from us. We both take what we want from these savages. If you think your cause is any more selfless than ours, you're sadly mistaken. Okay, he changed his tune fucking quick, didn't he? How are you even shooting him fast? Like, what the fuck? Hang on. <laughs> I appear to have been seriously wounded. I changed my approach entirely. Hang on. Okay, let's do this. All of you stand up. <coughs> right. Lump move here. <coughs> Far, sorry. <coughs> Far sight go there. Stitch go there. Okay, so. In fact, sorry, other way. Um, lump move there. Stitch move here. Far sight go on the far side. Enter. Oh, are they pushing us or. Thank you, Baka Shinobi. Thank you very much, Baka. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the cool track. I like this one. Holy shit. Right. So, I'm going to have Lump equip... Oh, wait, it stopped? Weird. Equip that grenade. Have Stitch move here. And then wait. Fast like go here. Thank you, Emily Farrowan. Thank you very much, Emily. And thank you, Baka Shinobi and Bor Bor Ni Nero. Thank you very much. Right, end turn, all of you. No, they're not pushing us yet. Okay, so f um, Stitch, two action points, step out. You see that dude, 69. Nice. Can you get an aim shot? Reaction shot from Horus. Okay. I don't have the option of an aim shot. Okay, just 69 then. A miss. Okay. Step back into cover. Can't reload. This is the track. Here we go. So, lump, switch over to your melee weapon. Three action points, lump moves into the room. So the guard turns his head left to see a baseball bat come out of nowhere, but manages to dodge it amazingly. Lump stays there. From the other side of the room, a woman enters and bullets suddenly hit the wall next to her 
She raises her rifle and doesn't aim at the woman that shot at her, but instead fires deeper into the room. The bullet hits a pillar. She then crouches. The bandits aren't sure what to go for. Horace fires at the guy by the door. Ooh, as, 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 as does the guy with the submachine gun. Okay, bullets are raining all through the tent. Holy shit! God damn. Okay. Lump swings again. Baseball bat hits, smashes the guy in the chest. He's severely wounded and struggling for breath. He swings again. The guy manages to dodge it that time. Behind the dude with the baseball bat, another guy arrives. He takes a bullet, dodges it rather, goes low. Shit. Insufficient action points to use and make it on that dude. Crawling into the room. Okay. Far sight reloads. She fires a bullet into the room, striking a raider and wounding wounding him. Shit. Then lies down. It's a bit dicey, it's a bit dicey, it's a bit dicey. We're okay. Okay. Lump. In fact, fuck that. Stitch. So raises his shotgun. Ooh, and actually misses the dude, but sprays buckshot into the room, severely wounding two other people. Fire again. Ooh, very good. Two kills there. Lump, do you have a th throw with the grenade? It's going to cost you six action points. For three action points, Lump moves into the room. One to three. Fuck, close. Okay, get a bit closer then. So for four action points, three action points, and then lie down. Nope. Get down. Okay. Farsight shoots and kills the bandit near the fire, leaving just the bandit and his right-hand woman. Farsight has a shot on neither. She moves up. Crawls up. Oh, damn it. I could have just stood up. I didn't notice that. The bandit leader fires and then takes cover. Ooh. The woman at the end of the room fires down. This whole place is just full of bullet holes and cordite smoke by now. Right. 14% chance to throw well. One, two, three, four. Okay, no, you can only make two action. Okay, move a bit closer. I really want to throw the nade. 20% chance to hit with a grenade. You know what? Fuck it. Take it. So Lump unpins the tribal, uh, unpi unpins the metal fruit thing in his hand, and is told to throw it. He throws it. Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit! Direct hit! You have completed the objectives for this mission. Proceed to the exit grid to leave this mission. My god! The grenade killed the bandit leader. He's gone. That leaves just the sole survivor. Is she going to keep fighting? I presume she will. Farsight steps up. 47% chance to kill. Direct hit. She's severely wounded. No chance to do a follow-up. Okay. Cool! Stitch moves into the room. Okay, end the turn. She's going to fight to the death. She's the last bandit remaining. Okay. So, far sight, just drop her. Yeah, okay. Can Lump run in and smack her then? Get on your feet. How far can you run? Move to this pillar. Uh, as for that, yeah, Stitch, just get down then. She's firing at far sight and missing. Um, hang on a minute. Do I have any, like, stupid... Hang on. What can I throw? Ah, the, my trusty rock. There we go. So, step here. Lump. No? Four action points. Ugh. Thank you, Kate. Thank you very much, Kate. There we go. Lump throws rock. <laughs> Pathetic, she says. Oh. Again, Farsight shakes her head like, what the fuck? Almost dead. She's gone. 
It's over. The village is clear. Well done, everybody. Okay. So, let's have a quick look and... Uh... So, a guy called Horace says he was going to bring us to his boss. So the bandit problem continue. Yeah. Gonna have a bit of a problem with these guys, aren't we? So a pistol, a butcher's knife, some drugs called buff out, shotgun shells, a uh, house key, I presume it's the same one that we have already, some 45 calibre bullets, what's in the chest? Uh, some more drugs, it's a type of chewing gum. Yep, already looted him. Horace dead. There's a generator there, there's a crate over there. <clears throat> Stim packs. Okay. Sorry, just got to wet the whistle. My voice is failing. Another hunting rifle. So take all we can, and then we're going to um, we're going to take it back to the Brotherhood of, Brotherhood of Steel Quartermaster. Right. Submachine gun. Anything else? <clears throat> yep, another rifle. Hi there, Sam. I hope you're very well. As you can see, I found... Oh, it's locked. I found myself a, a... My muse has found myself a game. Oh, look at this. Pick a perk. Ooh. For who, sorry? I can pick one later, right? Just gonna cancel that for now. I can I can pick. Oh shit! Have I just cancelled it and therefore lost it? No, no, we're good. Pick up. It will keep picking. Yeah, cool. So I can upgrade myself, and also each of my squad mates. So as you can see, we can build up a roster uh, and cycle the roster and replace them when they're wounded or dead or whatever. Okay. Uh, I'm looking. Sorry, I need to open this chest. Shit! Does anyone have the key? Uh, not for now, Reverend Mal. I got a bit bored of Zomboid. Okay. Social has, uh, says Bavin has picked up some Supreme Commander. Um, maybe, Social. Maybe. I, I, I th with Supreme Commander, I tend to just go with the crowd. Uh, so, yeah, if there are multiplayer games going, possibly. Okay, hang on. Uh, I did just pick up a key, didn't I? But normally it just says unlocked if it works. I don't think it was the correct key. Uh, I think I just have to lockpick it. Which I don't think I have the skill for. Uh, lockpicking... Do I need to, like, use a bobby pin or something? I'm not sure. Am I dense? Skills. Lockpick, 22. Failed. Uh, one minute. Who's got the highest lockpick? 25. 20. Farsight, can you lockpick that? Thank you, Crimson. Thank you very much, Crimson. Failed. Try again. Failed. Try again. Come on. Open it. Hey, well done. Ah, two stim packs. Whoop, wasn't really worth it. What? Oh. There we go. Right. Let's get back to the elder at the front gate. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's the whole area. That's the tent with the hostages. All right. Yeah, there must be this door over here. Unlocked. There we go. Let's go speak to... What was his name again? Was it Charon? So 
something to do with the underworld, isn't it, Charon? Is that just the name of the underworld? <laughs> Your grace in battle is wondrous to behold, Initiate. The death screams of the bandits reminded me of angels singing. They will think twice before attacking this village again. Initiate, you defended my people as fiercely as a death claw protects her cubs. Please accept this ancient gift from us. You are now considered family in my humble village. And of course, all the recruits will be delivered to your base as agreed. Well done. You have our thanks. And not a single one of them was slain. Although, apologies, a few of them may be peppered with buckshot and they need medical attention. Stitch did it. Okay. Right. What have I got? What's he given me? A detonator. Used in conjunction with planted charges, the detonator allows the user to get to a safe distance before setting off the charge. Nice. Okay. Oh, and some cash as well. Pre-war cash. Yeah, that's another thing. A Brotherhood script. Yeah, yeah. No bottle caps. Again, it plays uh, quite, quite loose with the law. Okay, I think we're done. Let's get back to... Mission complete, warrior. You have dealt with the raiders without hesitation and without mercy. Well done. Every defeat we hand them lessens their numbers and increases our realm of influence. The primitives you saved will be thankful and fearful of the Brotherhood in the future. This is important since the village must learn to live by our strict rules and thus be free. I have to admit it's been a while since an initiate performed so solidly in his first mission. The fact that your actions prevented the loss of a single primitive's life speaks volumes of your ability. To show their respect, they renamed their Brahmin stud after you. <laughs> the Brotherhood, however, will look favorably on you for your next review. Lump you are dismissed. Lump the Brahmin. Right. Okay. Do we... There we go. Oh, don't crash. There we go. And then, back to a typical Fallout screen that most people will recognize. An open world variant. We go back to Bunker Alpha. Time passes. It's the year uh, 2197, uh, 3rd of January. We're now arriving in the evening. So the fact that one can do this means that you can actually choose to engage certain missions in certain orders, and also it means that you can attack them at certain times of day. If, for example, you have a party that has lots of night people or whatever and gets certain bonuses. Welcome back to the Bunker of the Brotherhood of Steel. So, big change then, obviously, uh, for those not familiar, well, for those more familiar with, the, uh, with Fallout 1 and 2, the Brotherhood was never like this. They, uh, they, well, shun outsiders, anyone not born within the organization. So, this is unusual to have tribals inside a Brotherhood base. This being a splinter faction. Okay. So, what happens now is I can move through the base and talk to people and get their sides of the story, that sort of thing. But the real reason I'm here is I can browse recruits, I can talk to the quartermaster to um, both sell and buy equipment accordingly and get things repaired, and prepare to sally forth on the next mission. So I'll go and talk to the general who will issue me the, mi the next mission, and um, yeah. For now though, I've, I need to crack on with work I'm afraid. But thank you for watching. So. This is a bit of Fallout Tactics. If you're curious in trying it, or Fallout 1 and 2, I very strongly recommend. Hmm. So I'm just playing the version on Steam, although I did have to play it... Yeah, I'm playing in a, a, a very boxed-in, windowed mode right now. It's only 800 by 600 resolution, so... Well, the game was made in 2001. Okay, thank you again for watching, folks. Have a lovely morning. Hope to see you again soon. Um, so... Bullshittery wise, I'm wor where is it? I'm working on Armor Bullshittery Part 10. The video is 18 minutes and 49 minutes long, and it's made up of 37 sequences. It is week four, and I finished five minutes and 56 seconds out of 18, and I've finished editing 10 sequences out of 37. So there's still much to do, much to do. So I need to go and keep working as best I can. I can average about 60 seconds per day. 
so that's normally how it goes. So by the end of this week, I'm hoping to get close to the 10 minute mark, 9 minutes, 10 minutes, as far through as I can get. Um, yeah, so bear with me. Sorry, did I say 18 minutes and 49 minutes? I meant 18 minutes and 49 seconds. Sorry, did I say minutes twice? Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. So gonna crack on and do my best and um, thank you for watching. Right, hey darling. She's gonna go to the dog sitters later and she's gonna have some fun. She loves going there. Hang on. So we started doing that as the routine back when she was a little puppy because I was a little worried about her lack of socialization. I wanted her to hang out with hang out with another dog and and that kind of evolved onto spending the afternoons with a dog sitter just when I'm working Monday to Fridays and so she can go out into a garden and run up and down and dig holes and do all that fun stuff with an, with another dog by her side okay so let me have a look who's doing what so ZF Bavin is on he's just chatting right about now in addition Oh god, the resolution makes it very hard to see what's going on. Uh, so Bavin is on. Well, tell you what, I'll, I'll host up Bavin then. So ZF Bavin is chatting right about now, and I'll let him explain whatever he's doing. ZF Bavin is the extremely musically talented Australian member of ZF. Thank you for watching, folks. Have a lovely afternoon.